Welcome to our new family-friendly YouTube channel. My name is Carpizzle, and as many of you may have heard, our channel has recently been deemed psychologically undeeming and unfit for advertisements. Well, let me tell you something. They think that we thrash too hard. They think that we're too brutal. Well, now we're gonna make a video that's so pure that there's no way that any one of you Jehovah's could possibly think that we are offending anyone. Welcome to how to be a gosh darn thrash metal vocalist. Flippin' Slayer! By the way, no more beer anymore. I uh, drink bubble tea exclusively now. So as a death metal vocalist, I've been forced to change up the vocabulary, you know, use a little bit more uh, family-friendly speech, if you will, for all the Jehovah's out there. Uh, so it doesn't really matter anyways, because nobody can understand what I'm saying, uh, but in case you were wondering, uh, we'll put the uh, family-friendly subtitles in front of you right now. Uh, so this one's called uh, Love Bus. <coughs> Rip Kurt! Cocaine is bad for you and should not be used by children under the age of 18. As a thrash metal vocalist, my lawyer has informed me that I am legally required to put up the disclaimer that eating Duracell batteries every day will not enhance your thrash vocal raspiness or ability. I am not liable for any damages for future, present, or past consumption of Duracell batteries by thrash metal vocalists. If you consume Duracell batteries in an attempt to become a thrash metal vocalist, you are an idiot. So as a thrash metal vocalist, I've been very disappointed to learn that you can't wear camel pants on stage anymore. Uh, as you can see, these bad boys apparently offend veterans, and I am impersonating an army officer, man. Um, well, let me tell you, let me tell you veterans, frick ya and fudge ya. I can wear whatever I want. All right, who are you? You and whose army? So as a new metal vocalist, I've been trying to get my songs a little bit more family friendly, play them at your bar mitzvah. Uh, so here's one of my songs, one of my earlier songs, a couple years ago we did this one, uh, new lyrics. Uh, let's give it a go, shall we? World premiere on Joff Films. Ten virgins, church goers, 7.0. Stole the rights to my YouTube videos Now we are homeless Living on the street with no meat to eat Those scumbag devils give me my YouTube password back I am family friendly now My cousin is Bozo the Clown And I Went to Mexico to help impoverish children go pee pee. So recently I've been forced to give up my music collection. My favorite thrash metal band, as you can see, is uh, not user friendly. They say too many F bombs in that. <laughs> Gotta put that away. Get out of here. Don't wanna see that anymore. From now on, I'm listening to only the most accessible pop garbage out today, such as the new Lana Del Rey. A new Maroon 5, and of course the most accessible pop garbage out today, a new Mastodon album. Please hire me for advertisements. All right, so as a glam metal vocalist, I just want to say that uh, you need to play on this guitar. All right. That has nothing to do with the video, I just wanted to say that you need to play on this guitar to be glam. Uh, cocaine. No. All right, so corporate took away the thrash mobile. They said something about it's not suitable for advertisers. I don't know, not family friendly, something, some bull like that. Uh, anyways, this is the new ride. Friendly, fuel efficient. So as a death metal vocalist, I have been forced to choose new footwear. As you can see, my old death metal head stomping boots. Apparently head stomping causes concussions and is not viewer friendly. Therefore I am replacing these bad boys with a nice 
comfy and cozy pair of George slippers for $12.97. I'm gonna be petting kittens with this. So as a grunge vocalist that's been affected by the YouTube adpocalypse, I've been forced to change my grunge ways as it is not suitable for advertisers. Apparently Colgate doesn't want to sell their toothpaste to my heroin needles. Uh, we're doing post-grunge today, all right? It's a little bit more radio friendly, a little bit more clean to the ears, if you will. <clears throat> Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. How the hell did I got scared so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? As a pop punk vocalist, I've actually changed my political stance and I've actually abolished anarchy and have taken up with the Democrats. I now encourage and support uh, voting for your local government and in local elections. Trump 2018. So as a doom metal vocalist, I really don't get any money for shows, and now with this adpocalypse, I have even less money, so I'm still confined to my good old days of eating at McDonald's. So here I have our spectacular uh, McDouble with no onions, as you can see, because onions are heretic. Um, now the thrash metal way of eating this, as you all know, is to just smash it in your face and hope some gets in your mouth. Uh, unfortunately, my manager has told me that this is not child friendly and we're gonna have to eat this, uh, as they say, normally. So here we go, I'm gonna try my best. Flippin' Slayer. Ah, fudge it. Slayer. Rip Chester Benningfart. In light of his recent passing, I've started a support group in hopes of preventing suicide and raising awareness of it. Nothing, of course, to do with my autism support group. Now you too can avoid being like the likes of Chester Benningfart, Kurt Cocaine, Chris Korn, and the band Korn, and many others. Join my group, support.com. So for those of you who have been wondering where our shirts went, why our online merch store is down, it's because our manager told us that our current clothing line is a little bit too graphic. So here's our uh, prime I Melt Mommies t-shirt for $19.99. Uh, support our band, support local death metal growlers. Uh, unfortunately, we're on the hunt for a new viewer-friendly slogan. So if you want your slogan printed on our t-shirt, hit us up in the PMs. Viewer friendly only, please. As a glam metal vocalist in the new age, my manager has told me to dispose of all of my cocaine as it's not viewer friendly, not suitable for advertisements. And so we've disposed of it. As you can see, there she is, the mountain. That's my past. I don't need it. I don't need it. All right, I need it. Give it back. Rip Chuck Schindler's List is a 1993 American Holocaust movie that really depicts the horrors of uh, World War II. I think that everyone should spread awareness of World War II so that we uh, uh, learn acceptance. So why don't we have a moment of silence for our dearly beloved uh, Chuck Schindler's List. Uh, Rip Holocaust. Thank you for joining me here on how to be a frickety frackety slayer vocalist. I hope now our feature films are child friendly enough for advertisers such as Coca-Cola Bentley and Chris Cornell to place their advertisements here on Joff Films. Join us next year in 2018 on how to be a PC vocalist. <clears throat> Why oh, hate Trump? Come buy my album. If you hate Trump, come buy my album. Down with Hillary too, come buy my merch. But most importantly, fuck Trump. Come buy my album. Hey ho.